Look for yourself. You're down to five minutes between contractions. Now, come on, we gotta go to the hospital. Oh, June, I'm two weeks early. There's no way I'm having the baby today. Hi, everybody. Hey, great news. Beaver's gonna testify for me in the Behringer case. And we aren't getting Judge Harris. Wally, I'm in labor. Great. The judge decided to quit the bench to pursue a singing career. <laughs> labor? Wait, wait a minute, you mean right now? Uh -huh. Today? Yes! Great, honey. Oh, that's so happy. Oh, come on, run! All right, hold it. Wait a second. We gotta do it all over again. Beaver, you're blocking Mary Ellen's face. Oh, Wally. <laughs> like I said, everybody, just keep on walking. Now, if you want to have a boy, be sure to put a lizard under your pillow. Don't let him tell Aunt Mary Ellen, if it is a girl, name her anything but Vicky. <laughs> Took her to a dance last night. She went to comb her hair and never came back. <laughs> okay, Kip, Vicky's out. Mary Ellen, you're not smiling. <laughs> Seem to have lost my life. Hurry, <laughs> Mom. Bye, darling. Now remember, if you need anything, just ask Grandma. Don't worry about a thing here, Mary Ellen. You just run along and make me an uncle again. Thanks, Peter. Are you ready? Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. 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 Bad the hospital's the other way. Wheelchair. They're great for these moving shots. <laughs> Come on, honey, smile. <laughs> You're supposed to look happy. <laughs> wave, honey, wave. <laughs> Hold it, Chief. This is a hospital, not a movie studio. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Where do you think you're going? No, my wife's having a baby. Not until you've answered a few questions. <laughs> what is the name of your insurance company, please? It, uh, I don't know, I forget. What's the name of that company where the commercial has the guy falling off his roof and he ends up in a glass truck and the antelope brings him his check? I think it's a bear. No, it's an antelope. No, I'm sure it's a bear. What difference does it make? Just write it down. It's a bear. <laughs> How did you hear about our hospital? A newspaper, magazine, friend, relative, or other? Who cares? You know, we're wasting valuable time here with this stupid form while I'm missing a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see my wife... <laughs> standing next to me. Honey, sorry, false alarm. Why, that's a lovely dress you're wearing, Shirley. Mary Ellen, don't ever do that to me again. I've never been so embarrassed. works just fine. Oh, save your batteries. I'm never gonna have this baby. Maybe it isn't a baby after all. Maybe it's a gigantic kidney stone. Oh, hi, Mary Ellen. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, June. Hi. I brought you some more yarn and some new magazine and some lunch. Oh, June, you don't have to fuss over me. I didn't fuss. I just warmed up what you didn't finish last night. <laughs> oh, good. Poor liver. Well, I'd like to stay, but... I'm due at a ribbon-cutting ceremony. Bye. Oh, what do you want for dinner? Hospital food. Oh, <laughs> it won't be long. Bye. Uh, bye, Mom. Mary Ellen, something wrong? 
Oh, nobody lets me do anything anymore. Oh, well, of course they do, honey. Why, you could, um... You could answer the door. <laughs> Hello, Beaver. Hi. Wally, can't you get somebody else to testify for you? Beave, you went over the guy's files. Without your testimony, we don't have a case. But I hate getting up in front of crowds ever since I fell off the stage at graduation. And I'm not even convinced that this guy's guilty. Come on. He's got two houses, a yacht, and four sports cars. And he only makes $12,000 a year. Maybe he shops at Mr. Discount. <laughs> Believe me, Beaver, he's guilty. I know a crook when I see one. Hey, hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, Wally, while I'm here, you want me to widen this doorway just in case the blimp wants to leave the hangar? <laughs> You hear jokes like that all the time. Yes, but I just can't get enough of them. Because I'm saving a really great one till later. What's he doing here? Um, honey, he's here in case you have to go to the hospital. It's not far. I'll take Kelly's bike. <laughs> you hear that? What a gal. Bye, honey. Bye, kid. Uh, listen, honey, just relax, okay? And if you need anything, Eddie's here. <laughs> Have a nice day. Ah, cheer up, Mary Ellen. This is going to be more fun than you think. Would have to be. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I don't know, Wally. I haven't been to court since we got caught for driving that go-kart in the street. Just relax. You'll do great. I can't help it. I read once where this guy went to court to get his name changed, and the attorney got him to confess to killing his mother. <laughs> Relax, Bean. I saw Mom this morning. She looked great. <laughs> now, just remember, before you take the stand, check your flying. <laughs> ah, that's four in a row, you wimp. <laughs> okay, let's go again. Eddie, I've had enough. Hey, you want to win your money back or don't you? <laughs> Would you get that? Oh, sure. Come on in. <laughs> hey, Eddie. Hey, would you look at this? Must be whale mating season. <laughs> Hardy har har, Edward. Hey, I got to talk to you. In private. I'll be right back. Why don't you, uh, let's see if you can do something with your hair. How we've been looking for that really, really great card game? Well, I finally found one. It's down at the Weeping Willow Nursing Home. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm stuck here with Fat Albert. <laughs> Checks came in today. I'll get my jacket. Say, <laughs> hey, uh, little Miss Preggers. How you feeling? Oh, fat, depressed, unwanted. Good. Hey, you're not really gonna drop a rug rat today, are you? How can I? I'm not even having any contractions. Yuck. That's disgusting. Come on, Eddie. You have two children of your own. You think I hung around to watch? Hey, are we gonna go or not? Clarence Rutherford, you have some nerve asking me to leave our dearest friend's wife in her delicate state. Eddie, just go. If I need anybody, I can always beat Wally. You're a good egg. <laughs> and about that money you lost, thumb wrestling, don't worry. I'll be back for it around five. <laughs> How much cash you got with you? I'm gonna... Eddie, let's go. Time's up. May we have your answer, please? Uh, asparagus. That's the right answer, Cynthia. And you've just won a new car! <laughs> No, I can't wait an hour for a cab. I'm having a baby. Thank you. No, it's our second. Yes, Bernie's a very nice name. We'll consider it. <laughs> Answer it, Wally. Their feet. It's their 
baby. Oh, okay. We'll come back later. I mean now. <laughs> Kelly, go upstairs and get my bag. Ollie, call the fire department. Wow, a baby and a fire? <laughs> I need a ride to the hospital and I can't find Uncle Wally. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'll call. Fire Department, Lieutenant Gus speaking. Hi, Gus. This is Oliver Cleaver. Oh, hello, Beaver. How are you? No, Beaver's my dad. I'm Oliver. Oh, Beaver's not here. Maybe he had to stay up to school and clean out the rabbit cage. No, Gus. My Aunt Mary Ellen, she's having a baby. That's wonderful news, Beaver. Bring him down. Firehouse dog. <laughs> if I could find him. Well, good talking to you, Beaver. <laughs> nice boy. <laughs> well, is he coming? I don't think so. <laughs> Here's your suitcase, Mom. I took out the blue nightgown. <laughs> Holly, you better get home. I was looking in the refrigerator, your science project. It's waking up. Hold it. <laughs> now, there's nobody else around, and this baby wants to be born. So we're going to get in the car, and I'm going to drive. <gasps> Maybe you better drive. All right, Pip. <laughs> Something wrong, Kip? Are you kidding? I've been waiting for this moment all my life. <laughs> Turn it back. I love that song. Go, keep it here. Station the place that Johnny song. Tip, drive. I hope I didn't wreck your case for you, but I just couldn't take it when that other attorney insulted my integrity. I understand, but an expert witness loses credibility when he stamps his feet and yells, liar, liar. <laughs> I didn't you had a burglar alarm. I know, and it's my beat. Mr. Mariel, we're having a baby. <laughs> we're having a baby. Mm, we're having a baby. Hey, we're having a baby. <laughs> such a nice day. I think I'll have a sunroom putting this baby. Hi, Kip. It's, uh, Vicky, right? Yeah. Nice car. Four-wheel drive? Yeah, well, I do a lot of off-roading on the weekends. Could I go for a ride sometime? Well, I'll pencil you in for Saturday night. There is a God. Kip. I know you're busy, but could we get to the hospital, please? There's no answer at either house. Maybe she went to the hospital. Maybe she's having the baby in the closet like cats do. Hey, there's a car just like yours. Yeah, with a kid just like yours, driving a wife like mine. Hey, come on. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Peace Pets to Mayfield. We all wish them... <laughs> Many years of success in handling the pet needs of our community. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't you have my forms from last time? What do you think? <laughs> Hi, Mr. Haskell. Hey, Ollie. Freddie, can I use my real name? Yeah, I don't think so. You better put down Freddie Haskell. <laughs> this is really important. They want to know my occupation. Thanks. I'm a monkey trainer. <laughs> you really am, huh? They must make a lot. Um, put down a million bucks. So long. <laughs> ah, never mind. So, Freddie. I'm doing 70, maybe 80 down 3rd Street. And there's Vicky at the traffic light, so... Oh, I had to drive my aunt to the hospital. <laughs> Freddie, I swear on my brother's life. Here's your candy bar, Mom. Yeah, I know. Thank you, but I wanted coffee. <laughs> hey, Tom. It's hard to believe that I was here all those years ago having you boys. I remember bringing each one of you home. Polly was such a lively little fellow, always crying and eating. What was I like? Oh, you just laid there and sucked your blanket. <laughs> now, your brother, only way we could get him to sleep was for your father to rock him in his arms and sing that silly old song, The Toy Parade. Hey, here they come. A rum tea tum They're having a toy parade. The ginger. Hey, hey, now listen to reason. I mean, let the guy alone. He's having a heart attack. I bet the guy's faking. He just doesn't want to pay me what he owes me. <laughs> okay, take a big breath. That a girl. You're doing great, honey. It's just terrific. That a girl. All right, now push. Yeah, come on, push, push. Come on, honey. You're doing great. Push, push, push. Uh, I am pushing. Hey, you're doing great, honey. Uh, Come on. Uh, pretty soon we'll have ourselves a nice little baby. All right, take a big cleansing breath. Yeah. How's you doing, Doc? Oh, about as well as you did in that Springfield game. <laughs> what do you know about that? Oh, that was Gardenia. I'm the guy you elbowed in the face. <laughs> hey, number 32! <laughs> yeah, that's right, you're doing it. Hey, hey, you're looking good. You're in good shape. You're still playing some ball? It's time. Hey, you're the guy who made that great fall away jump shot yeah. to tie the game. Yeah, it was yeah. your night all the way. I will never forget that shot you made with five seconds left. Yeah, well, actually, I only have two seconds left, and I threw up this desperation shot for 39 feet. Hey, 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 Come on, you don't oh, Sure are. Okay, right. okay now. Take it easy. Take it easy. Push. Okay, push. Okay, push. Come on, push. Oh, come on, come on. Push. Go. Go. Keep pushing. Go. 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 She's the greatest, isn't she the greatest? Oh, honey, I love you. <laughs> Anyone want to hold that little bundle? <laughs> Great Mary Ellen. Her son. They're having a toy parade. The tin giraffe with a fife and drum is leading the Cupid parade. A king cat with a soldier's hat is waving a Chinese fan. A plastic clown with a wedding gown is dancing with Raggedy Ann. Oh, 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 oh. 